everyone! So today I'm really excited because, first of all, I've been sick and I'm finally feeling better and I'm excited to be back on here making videos for you guys. Today's video I'm really excited about because it is um, a new tag video that's going around and it's totally up my alley. It's called the Nail Paula's Obsession. I thought it'd be a good idea to film my obsession video in front of my nail polish rack. So, anywho, I have the questions here. I've got them on my e-pod. So I'm going to go ahead and just read off of these and then um, we'll get started. So, question number one. What's your favorite nail polish company? Um, I ha It's kind of a tie for me. I really like Essie nail polishes. I like the light pastel, kind of really feminine colors that they have. But I also like OPI, OPI's color range. And I always like in the collections that they release, there's always like that one nail polish that's like... Wow, like they gotta have nail polish. And also like that the OPI um, brushes are, are thicker. Question number two, glitter or no glitter? Um, I I like glitter nail polishes, but I'm not a glitter polishaholic. Like I'm not totally obsessed with them. When I do use glitter on my nails, I think, I personally, I like to do just like one accent nail. When I do use glitter nail polishes, my favorite glitter one, um, polish to use is Deborah Lippman's Happy Birthday, which I'll show you guys. Which is like, just like a confetti glitter. It has so many different colors. It's silver, orange, pink, blue, green. And then another similar one that came out from OPI is called Rainbow Connection. This one came out with the Muppets Collection. So they're very similar. Question number three, OPI, China Glaze, or Essie? Um, I kind of went over this already. I like China Glaze. I, I have China Glaze nail polishes. I used to be obsessed with China Glaze, but I think what's kind of turned me off from them is how, you can only get them at like Sally's Beauty Supply where you have to order them online, and I kind of don't like doing that. <laughs> Question number four, when do you change your nail polish? I like when my nails look perfectly polished and all, just like all pretty. When it starts to chip, I don't. I don't like that. So it just kind of depends how bad my nails are chipping. Question number five. What's your favorite color on your nails? I don't really have like one favorite color. I have sort of favorite colors. I really like this kind of um, cocoa-y color. This one's from Chanel. It's particular. But it's just it's just like a, a neutral brown color. I really like this one. I think it makes your hands look really pretty and feminine. And it's just a nice neutral color. And I also like the muddy purple color. So this one is also Chanel. It's paradoxal. And it's kind of like muddy brown. But it has a little bit of purple to it. I really like that one. Going along with the purples. I love Linkin Park After Dark. It's an almost black nail polish. But it's like a dark plum. And in the bottle, it looks black, but when you put it on your nails, you can tell that it's not black. It's, a, it's just a really pretty kind of go-to dark color. Another one I really like, OPI's Russian Navy. I like a lot of dark, like, mint colors, huh? I just love the iridescence this one has. I don't know if it'll come up on the camera. It has kind of like a purple and blue iridescent. This just looks really pretty on your nails. It's... I really like dark colors, but when I do like to put brighter colors, or like in the springtime, I really like this one from Chanel as well. This is um, New Velvé, and it's just a pretty Tiffany blue kind of color. Question number six, darks or brights? And I think based of, off of what I just showed you, that I'm kind of, I kind of lean towards the darker colors. Question number seven, what are you wearing on your nails right this moment? Um, right now, I am wearing... A new color from Essie. It's called Armed and Ready. And it's kind of this grayish color with a bronze shimmer. You can barely see it in the sunlight. There we go. That's probably the best shot I'm going to be able to get. Question number eight. Matte nails. In or out? I personally, I bought a matte nail polish and I tried wearing it and I just... I wasn't into it. I really don't like the look of matte nails. Like the, When I do my nails, that's Kind of what I'm trying to avoid. Number nine, French manicure. Um, I'm kind of iffy because I go through phases where I like to get acrylics. I just like the way that acrylics look when you have like white tips. It looks really nice and polished and really pretty. When I do French manicure, like if I were to get my French manicure on like my natural nails, I'd be 
first of all, for me, it chips like crazy, so I'd have to do like a gel nail polish, and that's expensive. So, I don't know. I don't think I would really do French manicures. Last question, question number 10. Favorite winter color? And it's really hard for me to choose just one color in particular, but this one has stood out to me the most this winter, and I really like wearing it. I'm really surprised because it's not usually what I go for, but it's OPI's Lucertany Look Marvelous. And as you can see, it's like this dark charcoal color, but it has so much like shimmer and metallic to it. It's just really different. I usually try to stay away from metallic nail polishes or anything that has shimmer. I really am not a big fan of, but for some odd reason, this on your nails just looks amazing. It reminds me a lot of Chanel's Graphite, which came out this past winter. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um kind of an insight into what goes on into my through my crazy head about nail polish and whatnot. Um, if you guys want to do this tag video, I will go ahead. I have the questions listed down below and you can just send me a video response and I would love to see what your favorites are. Don't forget, if you really enjoy these videos, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free. So that's it. I will talk to you guys later.